Hey, I'm Andy. We're back with some more Magic the Gathering unboxing, unpacking. This time we're going to continue the Wilds of Eldraine set boosters. So, yeah, we're just going to get five packs and hopefully get some cool stuff. <laughs> All right, so let's put this box to the side. So we've got five packs here. Let's start with the middle one. Why not? Put those off to the side. Yeah, I mean... Like I, I, I think I keep mentioning this with every set booster pack that <laughs> it's been really interesting with the art cards and all that stuff. So, oh, that's adorable. <laughs> we got a mouse token from the from the back. So, and for our alt, or for our full size art card, the the art promo, whatever you want to call it, we got this, which is frantic firebolt. All right, put that right here. So let's see. All right, first card is the land and it is a plains. Put that off to the side. All right, first common. We got cut in for three red. It is uh, deal four damage to target creature. Create a young hero roll token attached up to one target creature you control. All right. That right here. Yeah. Next up, we got flick a coin. Two red. Flick a coin deals one damage to any target. You create a treasure token and then draw a card. I feel like if this card was in like an unset, then it would have you actually flick a coin and whatever it lands on gets destroyed or something like that. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that, I feel like that's what would happen. So next up, we got Armory Mice. That's adorable. Is that a gauntlet? The, the magic double mana? Or I forgot, I already forgot. Gauntlets of power, <laughs> but uh, one white. Celebration. Uh, Army Mice gets plus zero, plus two, as long as two or more non land permanents enter the battlefield under your control this turn. Okay. Next up, we got Two Headed Hunter for four red, as well as Twice the Rage for one red. Tiger Creech gets double strike until end of turn, and then this has a 5 4 menace. Alright, uncommon. Next up, we got Witch Stalker Frenzy for three red. This costs one less to cast for each creature that attacked this turn. And it deals 5 damage to target creature. Right, a lot of red cards. Uh, we got Ruby Daring Tracker for red-green. Haste, whenever this attacks, while well, you control a creature with power 4 or greater. Just, okay, this gets plus 2, plus 1, and turn in the tap to add red or green. So the 4 or greater doesn't even have to attack, it's just as long as you have it. This gets the benefit. Alright, ooh, Mythic. We got Corvold, Gleeful Glutton. Five black, red, green. This spell costs one less to cast for each card type among permanents you've sacrificed this turn. Flying trample haste. When this deals combat damage to a player, put X plus, X plus one plus one counters on this and draw X cards where X is the number of permanent types among cards in your graveyard. That seems good. <laughs> I mean, that, that seems pretty good. I'll put that there. Next up, we got Scalding Viper. I believe we got this before. One red. One blue for steam clean, return target null and permanent to its owner's hands, and then so whenever this opponent casts a mana a spell with mana value three or less, this deals one damage to that player. Alright. Another mythic. So this is I think this is the second time where the first pack we opened had two mythics. So Alright, we got Hilda of the Icy Crown. Two white blue. Whenever you tapped an untapped creature and opponent controls, you may pay one. When you do choose one, create a four four white and blue elemental creature token. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control, or scry two, draw a card. Okay, pretty nice. Next up is Compulsion. One blue. So one blue, discard a card, draw a card. One blue, sacrifice to draw a card. Alright. Next up is the Foil Eskewer Slinger for one red. Reach. Whenever this blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, this deals one damage to that creature. Nice. Alright. And then... The add, and then the mouse token. Alright, so I'll put the mouse token up here, where you can't see it. Alright, what, what a good start. What a good start. Two mythics. Now, uh, I mentioned this before, I don't know the prices, so... They, they could be cheap, they could be not cheap, but... Yeah, I mean, mythics, interesting, regardless. <laughs> so, first art card is... I mean, the art card for this pack is this. Looks awesome. It is Moonshaker Cavalry. All right. Put that like that. 
land is a forest. First card, Aquatic Alchemist for one blue, or bubble up for two blue. Put target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library. And then this is whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell, uh, this turn, this gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. Alright, next up we got a Prophetic Prism for two. Whenever this enters the battlefield, draw a card, and then one tap, add one mana of any color. Alright, next up we got Ariette's Whisper for three black. Target opponent discards two cards. Create a Wicked Roll token attached up, up to one target creature you control. Okay. Next up we got Shatter the Oath for three black black. Destroy target creature or enchantment. Create a Wicked Roll token attached up to one target creature you control. Alright. Uncommon time. Lord Skitter's Butcher. Two black. When this enters the battlefield, choose one. Create a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token with this creature can't block. You may sacrifice another creature. If you do, a scry 2, then draw a card. And then creatures you control gain menace until end of turn. Alright, we got Totentaz, Warm Piper. I think that's how you pronounce it. For 1 black red. Whenever this or another non-token creature you control dies, create the 1-1 the one, one black rat creature token. And then 1 black target attacking rat you control gains death touch until end of turn. Alright. Next up, we got a Tattered Ratter. Okay, one red. Whenever a rat you control becomes blocked, it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. All right, for the rare, we got a Likeness Looter for blue, black, flying, tap, draw a card, discard a card. A likeness uh, for X, this becomes a copy of target creature card in your graveyard with mana value X, except it has flying and this ability. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay, so it just permanently becomes that copy. Interesting. Very interesting. Next up, we got Garuk's Uprising. That artwork is so cool. For two green. When this enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with power four or greater, draw a, draw, <laughs> uh, draw a card. Creatures you control have trample. Whenever a creature with power four or greater enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. Alright. Next up, we got a Griffin Airy for one white. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, create a 2-2 two -two white griffin creature token with flying. Alright. And our foil is a troublemaker Ufi for one green. Bargain, and then when this enters battlefield, if it was bargain, exile, target, artifact, or enchantment, and opponent controls. And then we don't have a token, we got a card from a different set. It is a Sadistic Augur Mage for two black. When this dies, each player puts a card from his or her hand on top of his or her library. Okay, I mean, this is what it is. So, next pack. So, uh, one of one of these packs I'm gonna get like a clean tear. Usually just rips less than halfway, but one one of these days. All right. So, ooh, this is a beautiful art. All right. I like it. It's different. So we got Curiosity. Okay. How did I put these before? So it's... All right, like this. All right. Land. Forest. Oh, it's a different forest. All right, so we got Ratcatcher Trainee for one red. Test problem for two red. Create two one black rat creature over that. Okay. And then as long as it's your turn, rat, cat, rat catcher trainee has first strike. Okay. We got return from the wilds. Two green. Choose two. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it into a battlefield tap. Then shuffle. Create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Or create a food token. Next up. Sweet tooth witch for two black. So when it enters the battlefield, create a food token, and then two sacrifice of food, target player loses two life. <laughs> okay. Then we've got a Diminisher Witch, another witch, okay. So two blue. Uh, bargain, when this enters the battlefield, if it was Bargain, create a cursed roll token attached to target creature and opponent controls. Alright. Next up, we got a Picnic Ruiner for one red, and Stolen Goodies for three green. Distribute three plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures you control. And then whenever this attacks, while you control a creature with power four or greater, this gets double strike until end of turn. Alright, interesting stuff. 
Next up, we got Agatha's Champion for 4 green. Bargain, trample. When this enters the battlefield, it fills bargain. It fights up to one target creature you don't control. Ooh, Corvold and the Noble Thief for 3 red. So create a treasure token for 1 and 2. And then 3 is exile the top 3 cards of target opponent's library. You may play those cards this turn. Alright, and then we got Pests of Honor. <laughs> okay, for 2 white. Celebration, at the beginning of the combat of your turn, if two or more non-land permanents enter a battlefield under your control this turn, put a plus one plus one counter on this. Nice. For our first rare, we got the Iron Crag. For two, add that, and then whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may have this become a legendary equipment artifact named Everflame, Hero's Legacy. If you do, it gains equip three and Equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, and loses all other abilities. So, oh, what what a trade-off. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we got another Garuk's Uprising. We, even the same alternate R2, so we won't read that again, because we just got that right there. I don't know if you can see it on the top right. So, we didn't get a token again. We got a Magic minigame for Winchester Draft. Okay. But our last foil, or foil, oh, it's a foil rare. So it's a Werefox Bodyguard for one white white. Flash, when this enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target non-fox creature until this leaves the battlefield. And then one white, sacrifice this, you gain two life. I feel like with a, an ability like that, you're not going to use that secondary ability. J just a hunch, but I mean, it, it looks so cool. I kind of want to see it without the foil, but... Yeah, this this looks pretty cool. So we got two more packs left. Let's open. Uh, might as well open this one. Oh, we're gonna open up all of them anyway. So, oh boy, we got another non-token. Oh, I just saw we got a, it's it's a different magic mini game, but this one is booster blitz. So I guess we'll just put that aside as well since we already saw that. So the artwork is. Did we already get this one? I feel like we already got it. But I really like the artwork. I, I know I say that about every single art card, but... Yeah, we really like the artwork here. <laughs> Anyways, land card is a full art planes. Alright. Next up, you got a bespoke battle garb for one red. Equip creature gets plus two plus zero and celebration. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if two more non-land permanents enter the battlefield under your control this turn, Attach this to up to one target creature control for free. So yeah, otherwise equip is two. Next up, two and veil guide for three white. Flying celebration, it gets plus one plus zero and has lifelink as long, yeah, for the celebration. All right, next up we got a ginger brute for one haste. This can't be blocked. This turn next up by creatures with haste for one. And then two tap sacrifice, you gain two life because it is a food. Next up, we got a candy trail. For one, whenever this enters the battlefield, you scry two. Then two tap sack, you gain three life and draw a card because it's a food. <laughs> All right, next up, we got spider, a lot of foods. Spider food for two green. So just destroy up to one target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Create a food token. Okay. Uncommons. We got Embereth, Embereth Veteran for a red. One sack. Create a young hero roll token attached to another target creature. Right. Next up, we got a Monstrous Rage for a red. Target creature is plus two plus zero until end of turn. Create a monster roll token attached to it. Okay. Next up, we got Boundary Lands Ranger for one red. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control a creature with power four or greater, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. I feel like... I, I feel like with so many cards that have this um, requirement of if you control a creature with power four or greater on at the beginning of combat, I feel like there should be a keyword for it rather than just have it... Uh, just have it just set in on every card, but I mean, it maybe it's there's a lot that have this uh, have this requirement, but it's not maybe it's not enough to require a keyword. So eh, it is what it is. 
Next up is a rare three blind mice for two white. One, create a 1-1 one, one mouse creature token, which we got right here. So next up for two and three, create a token that's a copy of target token you control. And then four creatures you control, get a plus one, plus one, and gain vigilance until end of turn. All right. So next is ground seal for one green. When this enters battlefield, draw a card. Cards and graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. All right, and the foil is the princess takes flight for two white. So one, exile up to one target creature. Two, target creature you control gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying until end of turn. Then three, return the exile card to the battlefield under its owner's control. All right. Final pack of the video. Hopefully we end strong. <laughs> but, I mean, we, we, we've gotten some duplicates, but, I mean, it is what it is. it's inevitable. Because I'm opening up a set booster box that I'm going to get duplicates, but. All right. Let's see what the art card is. I haven't gotten any autographed art cards in this one, so it is what it is. So this one is Court of Vantress. Okay. So the land, ooh, it's a foil land too. Nice, starting off strong for this pack. I put it with the foils. Next up, we got Stockpiling Celebrant for two white. When this enters the battlefield, you may return another target non permanent you control to its owner's hand. If you do, scry two. Next up. Skewer Slinger, which we already got. Next up, Grand Ball Guest for one red. Celebration. This gives plus one, plus one. That has Trample. Okay. Nice. Okay, we got Gallant Pie Wielder for two white. First strike. And then Celebration is, this has double strike. Nice. And it's a two, three. Okay, we got... Imidane's Recruiter for two red with train troops for four white. So create two, two, two white knight creature tokens. And then when this enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and gain haste until end of turn. Alright, next up we got a picklock prankster for one green or one green, one blue. And it has free the fae for one blue. So mill four cards and put an instant sorcery or fairy card from among the mill cards into your hand. And this is just a flying vigilance. One, three. Next up, we got a thread bind click for three blue. And then rip the seams for two white. And destroy target tap creature. And then this is a three, three flying. Interesting that there's more than three of them in the art, but <laughs> it is what it is. Next up, we got a dutiful griffin for three white, white. Flying, two white, sacrifice two enchantments. Return this from your graveyard to your hand. Next up is the rare. We got Godric Cloaked Reveler for one red red. So haste and celebration. As long as two or more non-land permanents under battlefield under your control this turn, this is a dragon with base power and toughness 4-4 four, four flying and has uh, fire breathing. Okay. So it loses all creature, other creature types, so it's no longer a human noble. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Next up, we got Polluted Bonds for three black black. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, that player loses two life and you gain two life. Neat. Then next up is a foil plunge into winter. I, I don't know if it's because it's a foil, but the artwork looks not great. I, I want to say it's because of the foil that I can't see the detail of it. I don't know if the camera can pick up the details, just... I'm just seeing, like, the flash from the light on, on the foil. But it's a one white. Tap up to one target creature. Scry one, then draw a card. Okay, and then the last one is not a token, but another card. From M15, we got Miner's Bane for four red red. So two red, this gets plus one plus zero and gains trample until end of turn. So it's kind of like fire breathing plus trample. And it's a 6-3. All right. I mean, we, we definitely started out strong <laughs> with the two mythics, but then it became just normal-ish, I guess. We did get some, uh, we did get some duplicates with the Garouk's Uprising, but especially with the alternate art ones as well, where it's, you don't get as much as those in a pack. 
compared to the normal cards so yeah i don't know like i said i don't know the prices i don't i only really look them up afterwards but even then i still keep them so and if i don't i'll probably just give them to friends so yeah it is what uh, it was like someone like some of the cards i i'll probably sell maybe but most likely not because i still have all the cards from the previous boxes i've opened so i haven't, I haven't sold them or given away yet but they're, they're they're just in like a, a box <laughs> so yeah we started off with uh corvold and hilda and then it, it became wrong but like i said i don't really do this just to get just to like find money but you know, for it's for the experience and see what cards i'll get and and especially with the set ones i the the art cards i know it's probably cheaper to just buy them but yeah i mean the art cards are really cool like the cards are still are very cool so like it is what it is i, I like opening packs <laughs> so yeah uh anyways hope you enjoyed this until next time thank you for watching and have a nice day